There is an area that I have been a hypocrite in, and that is when I try to describe what my standards are for the times that I block someone. I'm a hypocrite there. I am. I tried to set some standards for myself, and I failed doing it at those standards. There are some people who... I sort of look at, like... If any two kind of mindsets would could be opposite from each other, it would be Steven Crowder versus... Uh, someone very educated British, right? Over here. Now, Steven Crowder represents some of the things that suck about what a lot, what, unfortunately, I'm sorry, a lot of guys are like. There's a lot of guys who have that attitude about things. It's, it's just, it's arrogant beyond just, I, I don't even know how to describe it. And he's very bigoted towards those that he speaks against. If someone has an opposing view, he just, it's, it's like a disdain. Like he's taken all of his anger from all the periods in his life and he just sort of lashes it out at whatever he perceives his enemy to be. Um, and there are a number of people out there like that and they don't even think about it they don't they don't even look at it as a problem they look at it as an asset or something oh look at me I can pwn somebody you know you know through being an asshole <laughs> this isn't to say that Steven Crowder doesn't make good points because he sometimes does but it's usually intermixed in with a bunch of one of the types of humors I a humor I just I, I just don't I don't find any humor in it and believe me I like a lot of comedians uh, George Carlin is probably my very 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 favorite because he could certainly see all this shit coming But it, when people act like Steven Crowder, you know, I, I can just picture him just saying the nastiest things possible, and then he could just go, What? What? I'm just saying. Hey, no, I'm just saying. You know, um, he'd find some sort of phrase to just make it seem cool and people would laugh ah ha 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 all right great um <laughs> but then you have the british side that is absolutely utterly obsessed with the way something is worded having it pronounced correctly and it's not just an issue of grammar and spelling it's you have to talk about subjects this way it's, it has to be this way this is and if you don't it's um but probably considered rude and inconsiderate if you don't go to this one format for the way that you have to you know describe anything you know, it's the prologue and this section and this section and this section and that's how you you discuss something. You go through all these rules, massive amounts of rules. And it's just, wow. You know. And I think that's why uh, they often will, uh, in movies and such, it'll, it'll usually be, it, the computer will be British. A British woman because it's the sound of an educated, liberated person. So, anyway, um, 
but either of those two sides of things that I describe, right? Either of those two sides can go to extremes. When the only thing that someone will start to argue is just nitpicking at the words. They don't they don't care. Is it still clear? Oh, okay. <laughs> they don't care what you're actually saying. And then when you finally say it the way they want, they have this attitude of, oh, good. Okay, but is there a discussion about it? And it ends up the entire, dis entire conversation was them trying to force you to discuss something according to a very strict set of rules. Okay, that shit irritates the fuck out of me. I just want to talk about something. A discussion. If 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 the discussion ends up in reality being trying to school someone on the way that you're supposed to have a conversation, you know that's fucking irritating. Okay, and when it goes on for too long, I I eventually get tired of it. And if I push back, and the insults start to come out when I do push them in that area. Um, that might be a time I might block someone. Because they obviously don't actually want to have a discussion. Just... Then there's the Steven Crowder kind of person who will... Just everything has to have an insult. Everything. Every, every seten sentence, everything has to have an insult mixed in with it. I'm like, just, wh why are you like that? Why, what, you know? Oh, well, we're adults. So there's no such thing as, as the, you know, as bullying, really. And there's people that actually say there's no such thing as bullying. And I'm like, hey, guys, look, this guy thinks this way. Hey, let's bully him. You know what I mean? And sometimes it ends up being that way. Uh... You know, and when it starts to, it starts to get that way, that may be a time I start to block. You know, when it, when someone doesn't really want to have a discussion, but they just have to be just contrary acting. I don't mean that they have something that that proves what I'm saying wrong because I don't have an issue with that. It's when someone just all they want to do is just how do you word this? Uh Basically, they, they, they want to make people feel stupid for not... I mean, ignorance is not stupidity. You know? I don't know how to word this. It's, it's when people... Like, you have to say something really negative... It's not necessarily an insult, but it's something negative every time. Um, and it doesn't even have to do with what's actually being said. Now, there are people that constantly do devil's advocate. And once I realize that's what they're doing, okay, that's cool. I can, I can, I can deal with that. But until I know that's what it is, I sometimes get a little bit frustrated. Because I'll see someone, well, you had this position over here, but now you have this position over here. What, you know, what do you really think? How do you really believe? What am I arguing against? And, uh... So... Yeah, I've, I've had inc major inconsistencies with the way that I have blocked. I, I'm certainly not going to say I'm proud of it. Um, 
I'm just trying to deal with the platform the way that I know how. And there are options that we have on online that we never had, like when it comes to blocking in uh, elementary school. We never had that, you know, when we get bullied in, in middle school and sometimes even high school. You didn't, there, there is no block button in those places. And online there is. Um, but yeah, I, I, I haven't been consistent and it's making me realize if, if I'm talking about that kind of subject, I just need to be real and say I, I have no set of standards. Because every time I try to set standards in that area, uh, I fail. Um, I do not have a very big block list, but I do have a block list. When I say list, I'm not meaning I get lists from other places. It's just, you know, a, a set of people that are blocked. Um, so. Yeah. Yeah.